Good morning. My name is Geraldo Mello. I work for Shen Brazil and I'll be presenting introduction to virtualization. Today's agenda is basic concepts and motivators that make companies invest in virtualization projects. Basic concepts. Virtualization uh, started in the 1960s by IBM mainframes through VM CMS software. 20 years afterwards, and more precisely in 1998, VMware was founded. Between 2000 and 2001, VMware started shipping uh, the first version of Hypervisor. But what is virtualization? Virtualization is the conversion of physical into virtualized environments by transforming hardware into software. Or, in this case, we have physical servers like database servers, file servers, print servers. In virtualization, you can consolidate these physical servers into a virtual machine, which is a software. How is this possible? A physical server is composed by hardware, operating system, and the applications. The operating system is the translator between an application command, like a printing command, and a language that the hardware is able to understand. Virtualized environment, on the other hand, is the same, pretty much the same as a physical environment with additional uh, software layers. For instance, we have this, uh, this physical server when converted to a virtualized environment, it becomes a virtual machine uh, with its own operating system and applications. In this case, the operating system is Windows, right here. It's the Windows operating system with the applications. Each virtual machine might have its own uh, operating system, for instance, Windows, Linux, Unix, Unix, and etc. An additional software layer is the virtual machine monitor, which manages uh, all the uh, virtual machine's functionality to make sure that the performance is stable and in case one virtual machine goes down, another vi virtual machine goes up to make uh, the whole production environment functional. Another software layer is the hypervisor, which is responsible for translating uh, every operating system command to a language that the hardware is able to understand. The hypervisor is what makes uh, different uh, operating system uh, able to exist in the same virtualized server. A virtualized server uh, has uh, its own physical devices, for instance, CPU, memory, network card, and disk. W when you create a virtual machine, you define logical devices where you can have, in this case, uh, you can define that a logical CPU can have 10% of the physical CPU. The memory, the logical memory can use 10 or 15% of the physical memory. The logical network card can use 20% uh, of the, the physical network card. And the logical disk can use 30% of the physical disk. The virtual machine monitor assures that the performance is stable throughout the production environment or throughout the virtualized environment. In case of this first virtual machine, it starts to demand more resources 
than it has been previously defined for it. The virtual machine monitor grabs or gets uh, additional uh, resources from uh, the other virtual machines, keeping the overall performance stable. Let's talk about motivators that make companies invest in virtualization projects. The motivators are business continuity, management and automation, infrastructure optimization, desktop virtualization, and green IT. Let's talk about business continuity. 63% of clients adopt virtualization for business continuity. But what is the business continuity objective? Is the downtime elimination. In case a downtime occurs, business continuity intends to minimize downtime duration, avoid data loss and prevent non-planned downtime. Talking about motivators, management and automation. A virtualized environment has a, a GUI interface, a user-friendly interface, which uh, allows a centralized management of virtual machines. And not just virtual machines, but the whole infrastructure of the virtualized environment. Management and automation provides a management of test environment, or it, it allows a creation of uh, isolated and encapsulated environments, for instance, test environment, homologation environment, production environment, in a way that if an error occurs in one of the environments, it does not affect the other environments. Management and automation allows a management of the whole uh, virtual machine life cycle or the management of the implementation of this virtual machine into the production environment. 